Hey guys, welcome back to Shop My Stash for this week. I have a few, quite a bit actually, new goodies that I am wanting to put to use this week and so I figured I'd bring you along in choosing my makeup for this week. Please excuse the mess up there. I am in the process of making my room a little more organized and so there's stuff everywhere right now so that looks a little disorganized but let's just go ahead and get started with um the shop my stash video for today so in choosing a highlighter there is one already on my desk that i'm going to be using for this week but there are a couple other that we need to take with us because you guys know i like to use two or three different highlighters throughout the week so i'm thinking um that i haven't used the natasha denona what is this this is the super glow i haven't used this in a while let's see i also haven't used my my Estee Lauder Heat Wave in a while. I haven't used my Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots in a little bit. So I'm kind of trying to figure out what exactly I want to use. I think one thing that I do want to use for this week, that's not it, is the new um, Whataburat um, Fenty Kilowatt because I used it when I first got it and then it kind of didn't. So I think I'm going to use that. And then there's one other that I want to get um, actually, you know what? There's not because there's a highlighter in the palette that I also have on the desk. So I think we're good with that. So then let's go ahead and move on to, well, hold on. We skipped a drawer to blushes. Now I have a blush palette already on the desk. So I am going to, um, I think probably skip on singles for this week. You'll see what that blush palette is here shortly. But I think for this week, we're good. You notice that I've organized this a little bit nicer. It's just, um, so much easier to find stuff. They're facing this way now instead of just all over and so this has really really helped me out also kind of helps make me feel a little bit less anxious also when I open these and there's not so much going on all over the place as far as bronzers we do need to pick a bronzer for this week and I think uh, I kind of want to use you know what I haven't used in a while are my hourglass bronzers um, oh, but I, I bought this and I've used it I used it a little while while I while it was new and I have not yet used it this month. So but I also have not used my Bye Bye Pores. Bye Bye Pores, I think. By It Cosmetics. Ooh, that's the bad thing about I think this drawer comes out a little more actually. <laughs> okay, so the hourglass bronzers have been on my mind, but I think what is this? Ooh, that's the Milani bronzer. Okay, I think I want to use that. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am super excited by the new Too Faced bronzer that's recent or that's going to come out with the peacock on the inside. It looks so pretty. I think let's use this one for this week because I really like that one and I kind of have not pulled it back out. Um, so I think, yeah, I think we're good there. Something back here. I wonder what this is. Oh, it's a highlight. Okay, put that there. <laughs> All right, so as far as single eyeshadows, I don't think um, I need to use any at this time because um, I've got quite a bit of palettes that are going to be used this week, and I'll show you those shortly. Um, as far as pa face palettes, I'm not going to use any right now because, like I said, I already have a face palette to use up at the desk. Um, and then the rest, y'all know to be my eyeshadow palettes, and I think I am, I've got plenty on the desk, you guys. So let me go ahead and take these two products over to the desk, and we'll go through the, um, palettes. Okay, so we're back over at the desk. Now, I had already picked out a, um, foundation, um, just because I was, I was already knowing that this is the one I was going to want to use this week. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. I like this one very, very much. As far as primer, I already picked the one I'm going to use this week. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I opted to buy the smaller of the two that were released, and I'm actually wishing I had bought the bigger one because I like this very, very much. I'm going to post to get ready with me using all new, or using a lot of new products later this week, and there's going to be little mini reviews in there for you, so you'll see my hear my thoughts on this product but I am going to keep using it for this week um, and then let's see we've got the NARS exposed palette this is what I was telling you I was going to use as my blushes um, look at the cover this is so pretty and I was not intending on picking this up but I was highly intrigued by the highlighter and I very much like the palette that came out during the holidays um, at Sephora so when I saw that they were quite different 
I went ahead and opted to pick this one up. And so um, they, the color scheme is actually different, even though it didn't seem like it. But um, they're very, very easy to work with, even though you do have to build them up. Um, but they do look like just second skin. They're so, so pretty. Uh, and I have really been enjoying using this. See how it look natural that looks? It almost seems like there's nothing on my finger. Um, but that's how it goes on the skin. It just looks like it's my skin and not a layer of powder sitting on top. So I'm going to continue using that this week. I had also picked up the Maybelline Puma highlighter and this will also get used in my get ready with me. Um, and so I have very much enjoyed using this one as well uh, for the last few days and I'm going to continue using it on into this week if I can get this thing propped open because this is a super hard compact. Let me put the camera down and I'll open this up. Okay, so I opened a couple of them. Um, so let's go ahead and bring this over here. So look at this glow. This is super pretty. It has a really beautiful sheen. It may look a little deep, and honestly, for fair skin tones, I think it would be a little deep. Um, but I am a light to light medium, and it is really, really nice on me. It's, it does pull a little more gold than I'd like, but it has a very strong sheen, and it's probably one of the best uh, drugstore highlights, if not the best drugstore highlight I have ever used, and I love that it was $8. The Wada Brat. Y'all have seen me use this before, but I am going to use it again this week because it's been a little while since I have put it to use. Sometimes I can get away with using this as a blush, as sparkly as it is, but it just really does look pretty all over the cheek. So I am going to use that. As far as eyeshadow palettes, you guys, we've got four different palettes going on. Most, or not, not most, all of them are new. So the, I don't typically buy new Morphe releases, like I have the Jaclyn Hill ones and that's good enough for me, but I was really drawn in by this packaging and then when I had seen that it was mainly like more metallic shades, I was drawn in by that. Then the Rio, um, let's see, this is the Rio edition of Take Me Back Take Me Back to Brazil by BH Cosmetics. I had always been wanting this one and then my local Ulta had one left the other day was when I was in store and so I was able to swatch it and was blown away because y'all know I love bright shades and when I can get them this bright and there's like a whole slew of them. I mean, yes, it's got like seven different shades of green but they're so, look how pretty that is. Let me give you another, let's go with this pink. They're so, so, so pretty and I love them. And then you put them over top of like NYX Milk um, Eye Crayon, couldn't think of that word, and it just really, really stands out. So that is that palette. Um, I also picked up with my um, Ulta Points, this one really called my name. I'm not a fan of MAC eyeshadows. I always say that I'm not a fan of MAC eyeshadows, but I don't know if they've changed their formula or what. When I tried this out, in store, I was really impressed. Um, and so, I don't know, I mean, a lot of times, it's like I've said, um, swatches can't tell you <laughs> the performance of a shadow, so it might be that they really aren't still any good. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna see. I just thought that these, like, standout shades would pair so nicely with these neon shades. Now, I am hung up on the neon pink from the Anastasia palette, so I really don't know how much these are going to stand out, but I figured I would give it a try because they look really, really nice. So we'll see. More to come on that, but I do want to put that to use this week. And then... Last but certainly not least is the Anastasia Riviera palette. This thing has my heart right now. It is so good. This is everything, like this is my dream palette. This is everything I would want in a palette as far as color scheme, as far as like number of metallic shades, and then just the awesome matte shades that they have, like these corally peachy shades. And then this, this hot pink is everything. It's the best hot pink I own. And this palette just has been very, very good to me. I have loved it, and it is my favorite one out of all of her palettes. And so I'm going to keep on using this one for this week. You will see it in the Get Ready With Me uh, that I post later on this week. We're going to move on to concealer and powder. So as far as concealer, I think I'm going to use the Huda Overachiever. It's been a little while since I've used it, and I really do like it. So I am going to use this one, but I also am going to use my e.l.f. 16-hour camo. This has been so good, and I've really, really enjoyed using it. And every time I use it, it like makes my dark circles 
disappear. So uh, it's crazy that such an inexpensive concealer could do so much, but we are going to be using those this week. And then as far as powder, we'll just use the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Powder. I very much enjoy this one. I wasn't sure when I first bought it, um, but I have very much been enjoying it now. So as far as our normal everyday stuff, let's grab our mascara, which is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. We're going to grab the Benefit Roller Liner which I have very much been enjoying as well. Um, and y'all know I have been kind of like tried and true to the Fenty Fly Liner and that one, the um, roller lash has, or the roller liner has been really good as well. Obviously I can't live with my Fenty Beauty, live without my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Eye Primer, so we're gonna use that. And then I always have to have like a black liner, um, pencil liner just because there's days I do decide to line that waterline. So I think we're good there. I don't think there's anything else we need. We're not going to use glitter this week, so nothing there. And then I think we don't need any, I don't think we need any palettes this week. As far as brow products, I'm still working my way through this Cabral. So this is the one we're going to use this week. Um, I don't plan to do anything different with my brows. So I think we are good there. We still need some lip products. So let me go ahead and get everything situated here and then we'll move on to lips. Okay, as far as lipsticks, I already know that I wanna use MAC lipsticks this week because I wanna use Relentlessly Red and Impassioned. Those two have been on my mind for a while to use. So let's just come over here and see if we can find it. I don't even know that it's in this tray, but in essence, it is in one of these trays. Um, okay, I love Sushi Kiss, so I already know. Let's grab that one, and then let's see. There's one in here um, that is a hot pink. Um, oh, man. Sometimes I forget how good... Um, the MAC lipsticks are. I just, I do forget and I look this hot pink. It's kind of like candy yum yum. Uh, we're totally using that this week. I don't know what, I think it's the Anastasia palette that put me in a mood for pink lipstick. So let's use that and then what else are we going to use? Okay, so the, the two that I wanted are not here. I know I do need a nude, so I think I'm going to use this one. This was the Mac and Pedro Lorenzo um, collection from years ago, and this is truly my favorite nude of all time. I don't use it very often because I am afraid to run out, uh, but my MAC lipsticks are getting like older, and I can tell because they're starting to smell like crayons. So, and I know it's time to use them up. And um, so we'll use those and then let's move on to one of the other little canisters because I can't find the two that I was looking for. So I cannot for the life of me find my impassioned lipstick. It's like a reddish orange and I don't know where it is. So I'm going to have to go on the hunt for that. But these are the ones I picked out. So I ended up picking Burmese Kiss as well. So to, I ended up putting Sushi Kiss back. Don't mind the paper towel. <laughs> so right here in order we have got, let's see. I've got, what is this one called? Saucy Little Darling, and then I've got Peach Beige, Impassioned, and Burmese Kiss in that order um, from left to right. And let me show you what those swatches look like as soon as I can put this back. So <laughs> you're going to see a lot of the same color scheme. So from left to right is Saucy Little Darling, and then Peach, is it called Peach Kiss? It's Peach Beige. Um, is that nude one that I tell you is like my favorite nude ever. And then we have got, um, what was the other one? Jeez, Impassioned um, is the third one. And then Burmese Kiss is the fourth one. So kind of a lot of pink, hot pink tones there, even though that last one is like a pink orange, but very neon, very bright. And I don't know, it's just what I'm feeling this week. So I think that's what we're going to use for this week. I, let's do our final rundown because you guys know I usually forget something. So I have got my makeup primer, my or my my foundation primer, my foundation. We've got um, our concealer. I know I've got the Huda over there. Um, we've got setting powder. We've got plenty of eyeshadow palettes. We've got highlighter. We've got blush. We've got bronzer. Um, and then we've got mascara, primer, liner, 
and I think we're good. I think this brings us to the end of this Shop My Stash, you guys. So I hope you really enjoyed this one. I know it was kind of short, but we've got a whole lot of new going on here that I'm really excited to try out for this week. And I wanted to bring you along for this selection so that you'd know what I'm using. Um, for reference, I will be posting a get ready with me, like I said, later on this week. And it will include several of these items that I have selected for the week. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and found it helpful, useful, or even just entertaining. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.